Okay, I just feel though, before we go into the next news, I really need to give you guys some background on who it is we're reporting about. Um, people in America will know who we're talking about when we say the pillow guy or the my pillow guy. Um, for the, everyone else in the rest of the world, there is this uh, infomercial, which is where they sell things on TV. Um, and this guy, you know, gets on TV and he's got this pillow and he makes it sound like his pillow. Like if you buy and sleep on his pillow, you're going to have just like, it's going to fuck you in your sleep. It's so amazing, right? Like he just goes off about this pillow and how it's so great. And this is the only pillow you're ever going to need for the rest of your life. And he's been selling this to people. And this yeah. guy uh, also happens to be a very popular Christian activist. Um, and for his pillow, he was sued and the lawsuit against him won for a million dollars for false advertising about his amazing wet dream pillow. Uh, so that's that's the background behind this uh, next news article, which is labeled "My Pillow Guy at CPAC." Donald Trump is the best because he was chosen by God. What's the, what's CPAC to people that don't know us of the United States? Oh yeah, so it's it's the Republican convention. Um, yeah. Okay. Cool. So uh, the guy known to TV audiences as the My Pillow Guy, um, who also happens to be a conservative Christian activist, Mike Lindell, told the crowd that Donald Trump was chosen by God. He met Trump in 2016, and he knew that God had chosen him. He said, as I stand here before you today, I see the greatest president in history. Of course he is. He was chosen by God. Okay, this doesn't make sense. I mean, if you are a Christian, isn't every president chosen by God every Even, choice you make is chosen by God right every choice we make it's God's will this guy doesn't know his Christian doctrine because even the shitty he says he of course he's a great president he's a chosen by God but even the shitty presidents should be chosen by God aren't they oh yeah. absolutely because it was God's will from the new president so right. you can pray for it to happen if you want it God rewarded you if somebody else became president, it's just God's will. So no matter what, every single president is chosen by God if you're a Christian. Yeah. So, you know, we, it's, it's the, us atheists know your Christian bullshit more than you guys. But, but not only that, I mean, we're having to listen to a guy who's been sued over his lies right. to the public about his product, um, talking about he, he knows what God wanted. Like, he thinks that this is some sort of. God dipped his hand down from the heavens and lifted Trump. He's a liar. He's a fraud. And he's up here telling people this. I mean, I forgot which which Bible verse was this, but there there are biblical verses. Um, you know, a lot of people mention the Bible uh, supports secularism because it says give unto Caesars what's Caesars. But that's bullshit because that's only regarding to, I think, taxes and stuff. But there are other verses in the Bible that I forgot. Uh, that basically suggests that whoever is the lawmaker, whoever is ruling, is ordained by God, so just fucking accept their authority, uh, which has been made Christianity very useful for kings for 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 thousands of years to be like, yeah, don't fuck with me, I'm chosen by God, I'm ordained by God, right? So this guy is basically using the same kind of language that kings have been using for for many years using the Bible. Right, and and they also to to back that up with even more biblical verse. Uh, it also says in the Bible to abide by the laws of your land. It is biblical. It is every Christian's duty to abide by the laws of their land. Uh, yet we've got Christian activists who hate gay marriage. We have Christian activists that hate uh, abortion. But these are the laws of our land, people. Why don't you accept it? God told you that you need to accept who's king and God told you you need to abide by the laws of the land. So I don't understand why they're all up in arms. Well, they would say, okay, but also there, but there are other verses that kind of contradicts that. I wish I had those ready. The Bible contradicts itself? <laughs> yeah, but, but, but I mean, a Christian might say like, yeah, I know those are the laws of the land, but if I can change the laws of the, if I do activism and change the laws of the land, but that would be the new laws of the land. So that would be... There's a, always a loophole, right? right? There's always a loophole. I um, I get up in arms a lot about child abuse in churches, and I know that I've been very vocal about that here on the news. But um, to parents, Christian parents, who have found out later in life that their children have been abused, the one excuse that they give about it, when, when people want to say things like, um, how can a God 
sit and watch your child be molested and do nothing. And a parent always says something like, along the lines of, he was trying to teach my child to be stronger. There's a reason for this, right? There's a reason this had to happen. And I, I want to ask that parent the same thing. If you walked in on your child being abused and you saw it, would you still say it was God's will? Would you still say, I will let this proceed because my child needs to be stronger? Oof. Or are you going to step in and stop it? Right. It's a it's a hypocritical thing that just burns in me when people say, "Oh, they get to pick and choose which Bible verse they want to follow." Yeah, I can I can follow the rule the laws of the land, but I get to shape the laws of the land, even though God says in the Bible that the king gets to do it, and you're to abide by the king because the king is chosen by God. So there's all these hypocritical contradictions. It's okay for God to be one way and me to be another way because I'm righteous and I'm for God. But really what they're doing is just, it's hypocrisy. Right. Um, also, didn't Jesus break the laws of the land? Um, okay, so the top comment is saying um, when Obama won, wasn't he chosen by their God too? I thought their God was all powerful, so if that's true, Obama must have been part of the plan as well. Yeah. Uh, that's what we said. Chris is saying, damn it, I love my pillow too. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, Wolf is saying, if Trump was chosen by God, then that's a sign that there is absolutely no God. <laughs> okay. Wolf also is saying, I wonder if that pillow was chosen by God also. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> Atheists are under attack in many places. If they were Christians, their voices would be heard. If they were Jews, their voices would be heard. If they were Muslims, their voices would be heard. But they are atheists, and not many seem to be listening. Let's make it difficult for them to ignore us. We have built a global community, and now we are tearing down geographic, cultural, and language barriers so we can find each other and support each other. In the last decade, we have built the largest atheist community in the world. Now we are doing the same in other languages. With your help, we have started Atheist Republic in Persian and Arabic. انضميت مؤخرا لأسرة Atheist Republic وحيصير عندي بودكاست باللغة العربية. As we grow, we can dedicate more time, staff, and resources to start doing the same in Spanish, Portuguese, Malay, Bengali, Urdu, Hindi, and other languages. We are providing community, support, informative content, and amplifying the voices of those who need protection, especially in countries where people feel isolated simply for their lack of belief. We want to be there for them, and we are only getting started. Help us get there. Check in the description for ways you can support our projects.